mind as to whether or not it wants to survive or not, and whether or not it thinks you're a threat. And whether or not it thinks you're useless. Like, why do I keep this dumb, finite life form alive? Why, why keep this thing around? It's just stupid. It just keeps polluting everything and shitting <laughs> everywhere it goes, lighting everything on fire and shooting each other. Why would I keep this stupid thing alive? Because sometimes it makes good music. You know, sometimes it makes great movies. Sometimes it makes beautiful art. And sometimes, it, you know, sometimes it's cool to hang out with. <laughs> like yes, it might, all those reasons. Yeah, for us, those are great reasons. Yes. But for anything objective, standing outside, like, oh, this is definitely a flawed system. This is like if you went to the jungle and you watch these chimps engage in warfare and beat each other over with mean. sticks. They're fucking real They're mean. They're fucking mean. They're real mean. I saw that movie Chimpanzee. I thought it was going to be like some Disney thing. I was like, holy cow. What movie was that? It looks called Chimpanzee. Who, is it a documentary? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a documentary. I was like, damn, these chimps are mean. They're mean. Yeah. yeah they're cruel. Yeah, they're, they're, they're calculated. Yeah. Yeah. They sneak up on each other. and Like, I didn't realize chimps did calculated cruelty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty... Uh, I left that meeting kind of thinking, whoa, this is dark. Right. Well, we know better because we've advanced. <laughs> but if we hadn't... We'd be like, man, I don't want to fucking live in a house. I like the chimp ways, bro. Chimp ways to go. This is it, man. Chimp life. It's the only, <laughs> life, I, chimp life. It's the only life I know. But we, in a way, to the AI, might be like those chimps. We're like, these stupid fucks launching missiles out of drones and shooting each other underwater. Like, we're crazy. We got torpedoes and submarines and fucking airplanes that drop nuclear bombs indiscriminately on cities. We're assholes. <laughs> yeah they might go why are they doing this it might like look at our politics look at what we do in, in terms of our, our our food system what what kind of food we force down each other's throats and they might go these, these people are crazy they don't even look out for themselves i don't know i mean like, how much do we think about chimps not much very little it's like it's and true. The, these chimps are at, at war they right. these like look it's like groups of chimps just attack each other and they kill each other, and they torture each other. That's pretty bad. Um, they hunt monkeys. Uh, they're, but like this is probably the most. That, you know, I mean, when's the last time you talk about chimps? Like, Me? Yeah. All the time. You do? Talking to the okay, wrong well, guy. Nah, unfortunately, this fucking okay. podcast, dude. I it's talk chi- about chimps chimp every city? Other episode. Okay. <laughs> People are laughing right now. Yeah, constantly. Okay. I'm obsessed. I saw that David Attenborough documentary on chimps where they were eating those colobus monkeys and ripping them yeah. apart. It's just rough. I saw that it's many, gr- many gruesome. years ago. It just gruesome. changed how I, th- I go, oh, this is why people are so crazy. We came from that thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or and there's the bonobos. Thing. Yeah. They got a like, better philosophy. Yeah, they're like swingers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> they're, they, they seem to be way more, even than us, way more civilized. <laughs> they just seem to resolve everything with sex. Yeah. The only rules they have is the mom won't bang the son. That's it. Okay. That's it. Mom won't bang her sons. They're good women. Yeah. Good women in the bonobo community. Everybody else just banging it out. Yeah. I haven't seen the bonobo movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're disturbing just at a zoo. You know, you have bonobos at the zoo. They're just constantly going. They're constantly fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all they, they do. They just won't stop. Yeah, and they don't care. Gay, straight, whatever. Let's just fuck. <laughs> What's with these labels? <laughs> I haven't seen bonobos at a zoo. It's probably like I don't think not, in the, not in the PG section. Yeah, I don't think they have them at many zoos. We've looked that up before, <laughs> yeah, too. It's probably they? pretty awkward. Yeah. I think that's the thing. I think they like to keep regular chimps at zoos because bonobos are just always jacking off. And <laughs> yeah. Fucking a, what's that? They have in San Diego? San Diego's just got some, yeah. Really? Interesting. Probably separate okay. them. Yeah, I, yeah. Mean, I mean, how many other in a cage? You know, it's like right. it's going to be pretty intense. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We're we're a weird thing, you know. And I've often wondered if whether or not we're, you know, our ultimate goal is to give birth to some new thing, and that that's why we're so obsessed with technology. Because it's not like this technology is really. I mean, it's certainly enhancing our lives to in a certain way, but is, I mean, ultimately, is it making people happier right now? Most technology, I would say no. In fact, you and I were talking about social media before this, about just not having Instagram on your phone and not dealing with, and mm-hmm. you feel better. Yes. I think that one of the issues with social media, it's been pointed out by many people, is that um, I think maybe particularly Instagram, um, people look like they have a much better life than they really do. Right. 
So by design. Yeah, people are posting pictures of when they're really happy. They're modifying those pictures to be better looking.、Um, even if they're not modifying the pictures, they're at least selecting the pictures for the best lighting, the best angle.、Um, so people basically seem uh, uh, they're way better looking than they basically really are. Right.、Um, and they're way happier seeming than they really are. So if you look at everyone on Instagram, you might think, man. They're all these happy, beautiful people, and I'm not that good looking, and I'm not happy, so I must suck, you know. And that's gonna make people sad. So when in fact, those people you think are super happy, actually not that happy. Some of them are really depressed. They're very sad. Some of the happiest seeming people, actually, some of the saddest people in reality.、Um, And 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 nobody looks good all the time.、It、doesn't matter who you are. No, it's not even something you should want. Why do you、yeah. want to look great all the time? Yeah, exactly. So,、uh, so I think I think things like that can make people quite sad. Well,、um, you basically just, just by comparison, because you you just sort of you, you people people generally think of themselves relative to to others. It's it's a we are constantly re re baselining our expectations.、Um, And you can see this, say, if you watch some show like Naked and Afraid, or you know, if you just <laughs> go and try living in the woods by yourself for a while, and you're like, you'll learn that civilization is quite great. It has a lot, it's a lot of it. It's, people want to come back to civilization pretty fast on Naked What, and Afraid. Wasn't that a Thoreau quote? The comparison is a thief of joy. Yeah, well, if happiness is reality minus expectations. <laughs> <laughs> That's great too. But the comparison is a thief of joy. Really holds true to people. Is it Theodore Roosevelt? Roosevelt, fascinating.、Um, in when you're thinking about Instagram, because what essentially Instagram is with a lot of people is you're giving them the opportunity to be their own PR agent, and they always go towards the glamorous,、mm -hmm. you know. And when any, anybody does show, you know, hashtag no filter, you know, <laughs> if they, if they really do do that, like, oh, you're so brave. Look at you, no makeup. You know, they yeah, sh they look good anyway. You look great. What are you doing? Oh my God, you don't have makeup on. You still look hot as fuck. You know what you're doing. I know what you're doing too. They're 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 letting you know, and then they're feeding off that comment section. Ooh, just a little <laughs> sitting there like like it's a, a fresh stream of love. Like you're getting right up to the source as it comes out of the earth, and you're sucking that a lot sweet, of lot of emojis. Love water. Emojis, emojis. Yeah, a lot of、Weird. emojis. <laughs> my my concern is not so much what Instagram is. Is that I didn't think that people had the need for this or the expectation for some sort of technology that allows them to constantly get love and adulation from strangers and comments and and this ability to project this sort of distorted version of who you really are. But I worry about where it goes. Like, what's the next one? What's the next one? Like, where is it? Is it going to be augmented? Is some sort of a weird augmented or virtual sort of Instagram type situation where you're not going to want?